What is going on YouTube and welcome back all of you amazing viewers tuning in to another exclusive update video once again this week. But before we start, make sure to go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel too for more sweet content like this again. Because in today's video, we're going to be taking a look into the $26,000 car that might have the potential to replace Tesla along with all the wild details too. It's all going to be pretty hype so without any more interruptions, let's just go ahead and dive right into it. With all of us as humans progressing and innovating in different technologies, there are just some things that we can't change about our habits until certain ones in power make the call, but that sadly won't ever be the case. Specifically referring to the automobile and oil industry, it's a market that simply produces such highly immense profits that companies will not stop providing to consumers as it's so highly in demand due to cars needing gas to run. Of course, we have the rise of hybrid and fully electric vehicle makers entering the industry such as Tesla, attempting to revolutionize the way we drive cars and look for power as instead of filling up on gas, we can now simply plug in and charge our cars just like our phones. This obviously is not a perfect solution, as the price is still fairly expensive for those who want to be more eco-friendly and not just drive a Prius or ride their bikes everywhere. However, with ideas spanning from decades ago, engineers are still hard at work to see if there is an alternative to the traditional additional electric car and a way to end the use of fossil fuels to at least hinder the harmful emissions excreted by the billions of cars and vehicles that run literally every day. If you don't believe the difference, just look at a few months earlier at the very first pandemic lockdowns where travel was heavily restricted. Cities and condensed areas in the west saw the lowest number of air pollution by ridiculous margins, and that was simply because less people were traveling via traditional gas-powered cars. The concept of an electric car has been around longer than you might think, and some have even fancied the thought of a hydro-powered car as well. But that would most certainly not be an efficient solution for how far the average person travels with their ordinary car. So what other alternative sources of energy can we use to power our cars if not gasoline? Enter the incredible engineers at Aptera Motors. This California company is rolling out the first mass-produced solar-powered car this year, and it's made headlines like no one's business because of some rather interesting aspects of it. Firstly, the insanely futuristic design is sure to be the most eye-catching feature about this vehicle, comparable to something like the Batmobile. This three-wheel, super aerodynamic car is covered in roughly 34 square feet of solar cells. This might be the breakthrough in solar technology and automobile innovation that we've been looking for, and could potentially start the journey to heal our planet as well. The car is so highly efficient that on a clear sunny day, the layout of the cells alone could provide 40 miles according to the engineers, which is more than twice the distance of the average American's commute distance, some already solid specifications. But what about the price? Surely something like this holding such efficient technology and relative to what others charge for electric cars make too. This thing has to be sitting at a crazy expensive price, especially being a newly released model as well. But as you already saw from the title of this video, this thing is priced at a pretty reasonable $25,900. Not bad at all considering what it claims to do, as the biggest gripe most people have with so technology is that it basically becomes useless once clouds start rolling in along with nighttime as well. With such efficient cells on the car, it could potentially surpass these issues and really come out on top as one of the most power efficient vehicles we've seen yet. The Aptera, however, still needs to go through many more safety tests before the company can actually begin distribution, which makes sense, but it really does get everyone excited for the potential that this car has, paving the way for even better, more powerful solar cars that can be affordable enough to become a standard option option for the average consumer. But go ahead and let us know what you guys think about the Aptera solar car down in the comments below. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed what you saw then definitely be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel too if you haven't already for more awesome content like this again. You can also tap the notification bell icon as well to not miss out on any of our future uploads that we post either. We are signing off for now but we will catch you all in the next one.